Yes, it, this is camp as Freddie Mercury's Christmas. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome Louis Spence? <laughs> You see, you brought out the devil in me. Louis Spence, I love seeing Louis on TV. I've got no idea what he actually does. No, no. That's the thing. What do you do at the Pineapple Dance Studio? We see this show and I, I joined it. I started watching because I love reality shows generally. And suddenly, there you are, force of nature, an elemental character, dancing poetically. What do you actually do there? I'm the artistic director. What does that mean? It means that I just don't really do much. I'm just floating around being pretty fabulous. So... <laughs> <laughs> Someone's got to do it. <laughs> I like spitting at people if I yeah. get excited. Well, is that because of what's going on with the whole, the way, the weird, uh, this, what's the, uh, what is the... Uh... Oh, really? Weird? No. Well, <laughs> no, I'm the first one. I can't speak very well. No. I have a, the word is the W, yeah. the R is the W. Yeah, we'd, we'd be crap if we were buying a Rolls Royce. <laughs> 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 Not I can afford it. Don't get me started <laughs> on the four, are we? Because I can't even get anywhere near that. Uh, but uh, did, did something... Did, were you, did you just have no, a... No, I was born with it. I was born with it. I've always born had... Born with what? A big tongue, is that? Or just a weird palate? What's no, a big on? cock. Um, a speech <laughs> impediment. <laughs> no, I was, born, I was born with a lisp. So you, already had, oh, you always had a lisp? I always had a lisp, but when I was 12, I was doing trampolining, and I was doing a double front, and I didn't I didn't. Is that untuck. a double flip? Yeah, it's a double front, right. like that. But I didn't untuck, right. so I didn't... I just kept... And when I was concentrating, I was like that. Oh. I went like that, and my teeth went through my tongue. Oh! Uh, huh? I can see it. Yeah. How it, old were you then? I was 12. Oh. No, I felt more pain since. Poor little soldier. Exactly. Uh, Louis, yes. okay. Talk me through the Pineapple Dance Studio, the show, the experience, okay. the place. You are the artistic director. Yeah. Um, in charge of fabulosity. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's a play. It's been. It's been there for thirty years. The dance studio, which you know, everyone comes and rehearses there. All Famous. the best It's shows. like a landmark. It's yeah. like a landmark. Yeah. yeah. I mean, everyone. Everyone comes there. Like... When did you join it? Because you were a professional dancer. Yeah, I've, you... I've been going there all my life. I mean, I've danced there all my life. But um, I started working there ten years ago. How, how, I... how old are you, Louis? Can I say? I'm forty-one. So forty-one, but you're still incredibly oh, athletic. You still yeah. got it all going on. Yeah. No, I work. When did it. you in Cats here in the West End? Yeah, I, think, I was, was magical, Mr. Mistopheles. There you go. Imagine, Mistopheles, all those S's. Yeah. You know, I was knackered. You still keep yourself in shape, though. You still keep, you still yeah, yeah, keep yeah, dancing. Yeah. And is that yeah, yeah. just for fun, or is that because you're at the pineapple? No, it's, it's for fun. It's, you know, I've been active all my life, yeah. so it's something that you just can't give up on. Yeah. You know, it just doesn't feel right. If I stop dancing, I feel as though, like, my whole body is just closing in on me, so... True that, brother. True yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. feel the same way. Yeah, you're getting uh, blood. Not yeah. seeing <laughs> well, with your respect, innit? <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy. Jeremy. Hello. Louis. Teaches dance, don't you teach dance? Yeah, yeah I Are can. You, is there a cut off point? Could, could, if me and Jeremy wanted to learn a <laughs> dance routine, what if we wanted to learn, like, uh, something from Cats yeah. for children in need, Jeremy? Could you teach us? What if we didn't want to learn dance? <laughs> <laughs> I think you My should. My question first. I think you should. You see, uh, what you'd have to start by going to cat school. Because oh. when, when you do cats, like, you had to have, like, cat school. So you'd have to, literally, you'd have to crawl around, like, when you... Well, become... could I see a bit of cat action? Yeah. How does a cat... Jeremy, watch this, we might be doing this next year. Now, when you, when you start, you, you get your character, but then you, you become the cat and you... <laughs> <laughs> and you, you undulate right. like a cat would. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> And then, so you just you just go around, and then and then you spray. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, Paul, didn't I see that in a, in a style council video a few years ago? <laughs> <laughs> no, but we, or was it the Merton Parkers? <laughs> no, but also we'd have to when we when we were doing it and we were going around, we'd yeah. have to literally do what cats do. We'd have to sniff each other's asses. Oh, tell us, God. you know, yeah. like. But mind you, when you're in lycra, it's quite nice rubbing up and down against other people. Like you know, like silk knickers. No. <laughs> <laughs> and I just say, listen, I was beside myself when they said. I went on holiday, hence being so brown. It was very last minute. Hold but... it. I'm sorry. How... That's such a gay man thing to say, hence being so brown. Like, really bigging up your own tan. Yeah, well, of course. Why wouldn't I? Listen, I spent three days getting back for you. <laughs> oh, did no, you? Listen, I think... Like, well, where were you? Well, I was in Tenerife. 
But I was on an island. <laughs> well, you walked back from no, no, no. <laughs> Listen, it took three days. I had to get the plane, yeah. which I maxed out my credit card on. I may be becoming famous, but I'm not rich. OK. Right, so, got a plane, then I got to the airport. And when well, I got to well, the airport... Well, who were you with? Were you alone? No, with my husband. I'm married. We okay. do that now, the gays. I know. Well, <laughs> well congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, so... How long have you been married for, Louis? Um, married for three years, been with him, well, nearly three years, been together ten years. Well, how lovely, that's so yeah, nice. Okay. Yeah, it is, it's very so, good. Uh, so, you, so you were out there together on holiday in Tenerife? Out there together, so I thought, get, get, when I found out I was coming on your you show, the call, yeah. I thought, right, get yourself a nice suntan, work out in the gym, get ready for Jonathan, because yeah. I know he's in touch with his feminine side, because you know all of Barb's dries and songs. I am, I am so, essentially, I'm just a gay man who doesn't really like cop. Exactly. <laughs> anyway, got the tickets, when we get to the bus, we had a bus number, mine was number four, seat number 52. Louis, Louis, Louis. <laughs> So much more information than I really need. Just, 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 the, just the high points. I got here. I got here for you, Gwyneth, and then they could have hired a private jet. Listen, they could have hired a private jet, flown round, the, flown round that cloud, and got a boat. You see, well, you know what? That's Can I how just say, important you are uh, to well, me. I, you know, I am touched. <laughs> Listen.